Hey, what's going on, boys and girls? Chef PV here, Troy. Um, really quickly, I had some people questioning and asking how exactly to install BL Heli Configurator um, on Mac, and I think people were actually trying to install the actual physical Windows version on their Mac. That's not the case. So, quick walkthrough on how to install BL Heli Configurator on um, Google Chrome. So you need Google Chrome is the answer. Um, you have to download that. You're going to go, you know, to the App Store um, on your account for, you know, on your, your Mac and you'll download Google Chrome, install it, and then go into Google Chrome. Right here you'll see apps. You'll click there and pops up Web Store. Click Web Store, type in BL Heli Configurator, boom, add to Chrome. Yes, add the app. Next thing you know, there you go. It's installed. It's that easy, guys. So now that we've got Configurator actually plugged in, um, we're going to go ahead and do a little test. I'll show you. Let's see here. So we're in. All right, so you see we're in Configurator there. Um, I've got the Rana 220, and I'm going to pull the props off real quick. Always pull your props off. Always pull your props off. If not, you get some nasty, gross cut like that. I don't know if you can see it. It's there, I promise. Always pull your props off. So... All right, check it out. We will change camera views here. So you got the Rana 220, and it's ready to go. I've got a battery and my cable. So in Configurator, it's real simple. All you got to do is plug in as you normally would into your flight controller. It'll pull up your incoming port as normal and hit connect. Once you're connected, go ahead and power the quad up with a battery. I should add an antenna. Got a Unify Pro in there. It should be fine without an antenna, but why press your luck, right? So you'll hear this is actually gonna be multi-shot. So I have a multi-shot fast, fast start, and we can now read settings. Now, this is going to give us the full readout of what we got going on with our ESCs. So we got four ESCs, all of them 1012 low pulse, 1904 top pulse. They're all running X Rotor 40 amp 1485. So 1485 will designate um, multi shot, and 1485 actually signifies it's one of the special, like one of the extra ones with the uh, different um, selections for tones. So things you want to look at are over in your common parameters, you want to make sure that the dampened light is always enabled. Motor timing is always going to be medium unless you are using some really high KV motors, uh, smaller brushless motors especially, you're going to want to change that. Your beacon strength and beacon uh, beep strength are the tones that they put out whenever it first boots up. So I'm actually going to change this to 125 and this to 175. Be careful with your tone strength. You can, I've heard, I don't know, I've heard that you can burn stuff up, but I never have at these settings. So I do change my beacon delay to two minutes. That means that after two minutes of no signal via TX or no inputs, it'll start beeping. And that's how you can kind of use it as a lost, uh, lost beeper, lost model beeper um, whenever you know you don't have one on there. So down here, you're going to write settings if you change anything. And that's going to write all the settings to all four. This is why I like the new configurator for Mac better than the other one. It's a dumbed down version. Um, now, one thing I have noticed is until I flashed the actual firmware to these ESCs for multi-shot, it was not reading the actual ESC type. It was just giving me a version number and like a weird code like GH040 or whatever. Um, so just, I don't know, beware that um, you don't want to change the type. 
So when you go to flash your stuff, or actually here's the motor direction, let's look at that too. So motor direction can be changed here, so you don't have to worry about it in the wiring. You can straight wire everything and then reverse the middle two usually will work. Um, or it's going to be the outside two, depending on what firmware you're running. Um, and then we will go into flash all. So this is where you would flash them. This is what I mean. Sometimes it will not tell you the physical name. I don't know why it didn't before, but sometimes it doesn't. Don't change your ESC type. Always leave it the same unless you know what you're doing. Um, I've never had a situation where I had to change my ESC type. That's the actual firmware that it's type that it type that it's going to put on there. Multi means that it's a multi rotor. It's not multi shot. And then your version right here is going to be where you see the different versions. So 13.2 to 14.6, that's all standard BL Heli stuff. 14.4 and 14.6 are the last two I ran. Um, 14.8 is multi-shot, but then if you pick one of these, you can pick the startup tone. So even after you pick this, though, it's going to always designate back to 14.8. It doesn't show up as this one when you come back into this tab. This These ESCs have crazy fast start on it. So it just shows as 14.8, which is multi-shot. If it shows up as 16.x, 16 point something, that's going to be BL Heli S. Um, you can also flash D-shot using um, the configurator now. If it's an available type of uh, uh, ESC, whenever if it has the availability on it, it'll let you flash D-shot. So all pretty cool. Um, there you go. That's a quick run through again of uh, BL Heli Configurator this time on how to install it as well. Hope you guys uh, got what you need out of that. Fly safe, fly smart. Just fly, guys.